And welcome to a uh, new episode of How to Minecraft with your boy Vix123. This marks three weeks of How to Minecraft every day. We have a little sign here. I'd like to write off yesterday with the best apology I could find. Thank you for hosting the event. I had a fun time, Pete. Well, thank you, Pete, for that. No, there were no hard feelings. Um. Ah! It's naughty. Where the heck did he find this sucker? He needs naming. That means we need to max out our, our villager. Well, that's that's awesome. I assume that's what it was. I assume that was the gift. We'd love to see that. Okay. The iconic legend himself. We need to put up the signs and everything. But we, we, we have more pressing things on, uh, on our mind right now. First things first. Continue the scoot trade. Oh, wow. I need to replace the glass. Still need to do that. Um, yeah. Let's remain on the scoot train. The scoot, scoot lifestyle. How many we got? Come on. Only 23. This is an outrage. A lot of people have been saying, like, oh, I need to, like, make this. Oh, wait. There's still eggs in here. Make this scoot farm way, way bigger. And just go absolutely ham. But, you know... I don't want to go all out on the auto cash. I like the idea of kind of earning a lot of my cash. Can I even get out of here? I can't move because I'm getting pushed around by these damn... Oh, no. Oh, these damn, these damn turtles. All right, we need to kill a couple of them. Um, yeah, I don't want to be the guy lagging the server with a bajillion turtles. Also, I don't want to be the guy farming damn scoots every day. I also don't want to be the guy falling off my house like that. Okay, let's quickly go and, uh, well, I guess we may as well snipe out a few more of these guys. As sad as that really is. I mean, we need to get XP back up anyway, down the line. Do we have more seagrass here? We have a tiny bit. Do you think there'll be more after a bunch of these guys die and we can use that to rebreed a couple of them? Um, I've got some, like, uh, I need to go and get a load of, uh, prismarine blocks. For my uh, underground base, so once we're mining that, that is when we're going to do... We're go I'm going to give you guys the highly requested duck story. I don't know how it's become quite so iconic, but everyone goes crazy with it. Um, so that's good. Make a scoot helmet. To be fair, I've got Aquafinity and Respiration on this helmet, so it's all good. Let me mine this back up now, so we have the dock to yeet ourselves off if we need to. So, alright, now off to spawn... To sell these scoops and then roll out. Please turn on animations. You know what? Yeah, I always have to turn them off for damn Minecraft Monday. Um, because the TNT run always lags. But no, I got them back on. I got them back on in the house. The villager in the turtle pen has a name tag. Oh, you know, I think you're... Potter. Ha Harry Potter in How to Minecraft? What is this? Hello? <laughs> Alright, we need to complete Sugar Rush. I should probably get some mushrooms and contribute towards that. But you know how it be. The young Potter himself. Okay, sell all the scoops. There we go, a little bit of money in the house. Might do a diamond mining mission for some cash at some point soon. But right, let us now go and start collecting Prismarine. And start telling you the tale of the story. Okay. So, what we first of all want to do is we just want to clear out all our... All our blocks that we don't need. And then we shall begin to tell the tale. Why are these books in here like this? I have no idea, actually. Again, we're going to set up like an organized kind of chest system. Down in the underground base. At a later date. So everything will be much more streamlined. Okay, the rest of this stuff I can keep on me. Okay. Trying it in the offhand, as was recommended. Maybe we'll find another traveling at night. Sick. Okay. <laughs> what happened to my pickaxe there? Oh, wait. I need to take these boots off. At least while we're tridenting our way over there. Okay. Away we go. This is very, very satisfying. Until we're out of the water. Alright. I think this is the fastest way to travel. It's weird going under the icebergs. Anyway. Oh. That's a drown without a trident. Oh, yeah, it's got to be so easy to find new tridents. I have my looting sword, do I? That was a mistake I did not expect to make. 
Um, just in case we see one with a thing. Is that a witch? Chances of that. What are the chances of that? Um, I'm going to pick up my looting sword. And then I will begin the long-winded tale. Why do I feel pressure? <laughs> Why do I feel pressure in telling this story? i got to do a good job for my people. Okay. Let me turn my music down so the trident's not mega loud. Okay. So, when I was younger, um, when I was probably like seven or eight, um, I lived at home with my family, my two older brothers, and uh, my parents wanted to get us a pet. So, they actually got us some, uh, some, some, a pet rabbit. Now, bizarrely, two weeks after having the pet rabbit, it died. It just, it just died. We have no idea why. We think it would like... I don't know, had some sort of like, some sort of like stomach sickness or something. Very sad time. So my parents were like, okay, let's get the boys another, another pet. So they went to the local farm pretty late in the year and they were like, hey, do you have any, uh, any rabbits that we could, we could have? And they were like, no, we don't. But what we do have is, uh, is this duck and this chicken. Ooh, very treasure map. If I take that over to the, because uh, if I open it here, there's a good chance it will take me to treasure that I've already got. But I know, I'm pretty sure that if I take it over to where that villager was, I might actually find some more treasure. Um, and I've already been sidetracked. Horrible game time. All right. We can do that after we finish the story. So, um, yeah, they go and there's like, they're like, you know what? We don't have any, uh, don't have any rabbits, but we have a pet duck and a, well, a, a duck and a chicken that are like the runts of the litter. So they're the little ones. And when a, a duckling or a chicken has a lot of like, you know, a duck has a lot of ducklings or, you know, chickens or whatever, the little one kind of like is seen as like, oh, he's not really going to be that awesome. Natural selection and all that. So he gets, he gets the short end of the stick, so to speak. So, uh, so that's kind of, What's going down is like they've offered this, and my parents are like, "You know what? Sure." Which is a <laughs> a little bizarre. Didn't really have any idea how to look after a pet duck or a pet chicken, but they were like, "You know what? Yolo." Not they probably didn't say Yolo. Yolo wasn't a thing back then. Ooh, Nautilus shell. Yes, please. Uh, we can start working on conduit. So they were just like, "Sure." Hey, love that. Another Nautilus shell towards my conduit. <laughs> why why is all the interesting stuff happening now when I'm trying to trying to tell a story? I need to get to a position where I really focus on it. We should probably just go and search for a ton of these ships as well. Oh a pumpkin. Love that. Can make a jack o' lantern. Iconic indeed. Is there just one chest in this? I think there is. So uh yeah. Fly with your trident, shoot up, and then spam it in the air. You have to do that when it's raining to literally fly with a trident because you need to be in water or in rain to, like, literally fly. Uh, like, if I go out of the water like this, I can't can't use it again. Have to stay in the water. Okay. So, back to the story. Back to the story, indeed. Um, we've got a pet duck and a pet chicken. And they're legends. Uh, the, the duck is called Chocolate. Uh, cause, you know, he was the colour of chocolate, little, little brown. Uh, it was actually an Indian runner duck. Interesting enough, I'm Indian, had an Indian runner duck. And he was a legend. He was, he was just, 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 just a legend. He had his little paddling pool, he would go around, and the chicken was called Speedy. The chicken was actually a rooster. Um, which was almost a concern, cause it was like, is this rooster gonna be the most disruptive thing in the universe? But no. He was, he was chill. So, they lived in our back garden. We built them a nice little, like, I guess you, it's not really a hutch. We built them, like, an enclosure um, out of wood and, uh, like, mesh. So, they had, like, a really cool enclosure with, like, a ramp in it. A way they could go, like, up and down to the different areas. They had, like, a little room filled with hay that they could go and sleep in. It was super cool. Like, DIY was on point. On point, indeed. It's really hard to see underwater. Where is this? Water temple. Ooh, a mesa biome. I mean, that's very cool to discover, but... 
not really what we're looking for. Is that the, the edge corner? Is, have I gone... How much further do we expand the map? I just want to be... Alright, here we go. Yes, got it. In the bag. You know what I can do here? Ah, this is going to be very clever. So we can get tons of this stuff. We're not actually underwater while we're digging it, so... So let's hollow the damn thing out. Oh, wait. Can we go one this way? Okay, so it's this middle four here. Okay. Alright, back with the story. So, uh, yeah. We've got the pet duck and the pet chicken. We build them an awesome, nice little enclosure. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, just, they're just very, very chill individuals. They don't cause any bother. They're very messy, though. I, I would say that, like, yeah. Um, yeah, ducks and chickens, very messy. You can't really train them to do their business, as it were, in one particular area. They tend to just kind of go where they please and leave um, a mess kind of everywhere. It's what they do. But, um, yeah, they were just chilling, living their life. It was very unique. The duck was so cute as well because he was kind of, like, imprinted. So, ducks... Like, pretty much the first thing they see, they follow around. Or, like, you know, when they're really young. It was a duckling when we got him. That's a guardian there. It was a duckling when we got him, so he would, like, follow us around. And, like, he would get really mad if we, like, went away. He'd, like, start quacking and everything. Like, when he was little, we used to, like, put him in the bath so we could, like, give him attention. Ducks are pretty awesome. So we had, like, this cute duck, cute chicken, living their life. Everything's good. Very, very unique pets. I actually took him into school for show and tell once. Felt like a boy. I was like, this my duck, this my chicken. And they were, like, really, like, you could get, like, really, like, they would happily just kind of sit with you and, like, they would chill with people. Legendary stuff. Legendary pets. However, the, the, the story takes a twist. The tale takes a twist, I'm afraid. So, uh, we've had them for maybe, like, nine, ten months. And we lived on the edge of the Peak District. And that meant that there were a lot of foxes around. They came from the countryside. They would, the, the farmers hated them because they would literally YOLO attack the farms. YOLO attack the farms, sure. Oh, wow. Someone's actually turned this into like a base here. So, yeah, the farmers hated them, but they were just doing their thing. I'm going to put a door down here and get some more. And uh, we always had to put the, so, I mean, the, the, the duck and chicken, speedy and chocolate, they would like roam around the garden during the, during the day. And then at night, the foxes would come out hunting. We'd have to put them inside their little pen, which was all safe and the foxes can get into. Sometimes, like, the foxes would, like, like crawl, around the, uh, crawl around the pen and try and scare them. Was, was, never, was never a fan of that. I'm not going to lie, I may or may not have shot a fox or two with a BB gun just to get them to stop scaring <laughs> my poor duck and my poor chicken. So, they would come by. And they would cause 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 the scene, but we we were on, we had it under control. We'd always put them in before it got dark, and everything was good. But then one day we were driving back from the uh, from from a little little session at the gym. Uh, they had like a really cool like kids like like crash where we could like go and like join in on like different activities and stuff. And uh, we were on the way back, and we got stuck in like traffic. There was like some road closures. There was a lot of traffic down the main road we needed to get down. And it just got to winter, and in winter, obviously, it starts getting dark really early. So it was, yeah, it was getting dark early. And uh, yeah, you can probably, you can probably imagine this not being an ideal thing. Did I really forget my silk touch. You know, what? I'll just get the crystals. Wait, no, actually, do I need? Yeah, I do need more sea lanterns. Oh, no. Um, wait, let's do the strategy. Hold up. To pause the story for a second. Let me... Oh, mate. Oh, wait. He is underwater. Okay. Slash set home. Don't do it. Don't do it. Troll. Okay. Oh, wait. No, home is here. That was, that was smooth. That was super smooth. My brain is the most powerful thing we have. Okay. Um, sorry, I've been totally cut off my story here. This was supposed to be a mind, mind dead, mind, mindless activity that I could just do and it would go well. All right, you know what? Ha ha, strategies. 
I mean, that didn't save much time at all. So we got the uh, yeah, we've got we've got them living in the garden. We have to put them in, and we're late back from the gym. So this is uh, this is obviously not ideal at all. We're like, oh no, and it's one of those things where like we're like, oh, we're a bit late, we're a bit slow leaving. We're like, it will be fine, you know. It's just one of those things where you're like, ah, oh, it's gonna be so fine. Like, how could it not be fine? And uh, let's just say, got back to the garden. There's feathers everywhere. No sign of Speedy or chocolate. Very, very sad times. Not gonna lie. Eight-year-old Vic was crying. I was crying. I was very, very upset. I've lost me. Both, both my best buds. The duck and the chicken. Uh, you know, they were so cute. They used to paddle around together. The, the, we had a little paddling pool set up. The duck, and he would just, like, go around the paddling pool. And then the, uh, the chicken uh, would just sit on the side. He was not a fan of the water. So he would just sit on the side and watch. They were like, they were like, they were the icon, they were the most iconic duo. Like, trust me, they were an iconic duo. And, uh, yeah, they're gone. So, very, very sad times. And that's kind of, like, that's it. Like, it was like, it was devastating. Didn't even want any pets after that. Like, didn't even want to get another pet. Just, just sad, sad, sad times indeed. So, then, about two months later, I go on a school trip to the local farm. And I get there. And, uh, I see, I, I, like, I'm looking in the, uh, well, I see there's the duck pen next to the chicken pen. And, uh, in there, there is, there is a duck that looks just like chocolate. And I'm like, weird. I'm like, hey, chocolate. Duck comes running over. I'm like, huh? So, I'm like, I go up to one of the people working there, I'm like, I don't know if you, like, where you got this duck or whatever, but I think that's my duck. And at first they're like, what are you on about? I was like, look, I'll call his name. And he turns around and runs over to me. I'm like, look, it's my duck. And they're like, huh. And I'm like, what's the story behind this duck? How is he here? And uh, they tell me that on the road where our house is, five houses down the road, so there's this stream that runs through the back garden of all of the uh, houses on our road. And a few houses down the road, there's a... Uh, there's a, um, there's a couple who have a pond in their garden, and they phoned up the farm, and they were like, one of your ducks escaped, it's in our pond, in our back garden, the next morning. And they were like, look, it's not our duck, but we'll come and pick it up, and we'll put it with all our ducks. Sure, whatever. And they do this, and they're like, you know what, this duck has always been weird, because this duck genuinely thinks it's a chicken. It behaves like them, and it goes and stands on the side of the duck pen with the chickens and just, like, it thinks it's a chicken, which is almost hilarious because it grew up with a chicken. Like, chicken was its bro. <laughs> Speedy was the bro. So what must have happened is, yeah, when, when it all kicked off, when it all got very dangerous, um, chocolate must have hopped in to the stream and just, like, jetted away on the high seas, um, which, is, which is pretty crazy. Like, high IQ, like 500 IQ duck, if you ask me. Just, just boated away, got away from the fox, and ended up at the farm. And they're like, "Oh, do you want, do you want your duck back then?" And uh, we we're like, "You know what? No, we don't really want to take him back to the place where he almost got obliterated by a fox and his best friend got eaten." So we we're like, "You know what? He can live out his days here at the farm." And I, as far as I'm aware, I assume he did. I mean, this was like a long time ago. How many years ago must that have been? Like, 50, like uh, fifteen? Yeah, like. 14, 15 years ago, this uh, this all went down. So, I mean, I guess, you know, a kind of happy story. The duck was not Rip. Um, he, he survived. He used his high IQ plays. Speedy, I mean, at that moment, rest in peace. We will miss you forever. You were a great chicken. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the infamous story of my pet duck and pet chicken. It was a very unique part of my childhood. And, I mean, I was about to say, and they all lived happily ever after, but, well, Speedy didn't. Rest in pepperonis. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't good. But, yeah, that is the story that everyone has been requesting. I'm sure a lot of you have heard it many a time before. Um, but for those of you that haven't heard the story, that is the, uh, that is my childhood pet story. Okay, now, back to House of Minecraft. We've got a bunch of sea lanterns. We can do some more. How do you get more sea lanterns? We need to get the, what do we need to get? We need to get um, prismarine, we need prismarine crystals. Do we get those from killing 
Um, Guardians, it's been a while since I've looked this up. Prismarine Crystals. Um, yeah, we have to kill Guardians. Okay, so let's kill a bunch of these guys. Actually, my Trident should be sick at killing these guys. Let's try and use the truck because it's got the uh, thing that, like, shreds them. Yeah, easy clap. It ain't safe for these guys. It ain't safe, it ain't safe. Oh, didn't see that one coming, did he? Okay, yeah, the, the rate, actually, you know what? I'm probably better off killing him with my looting sword. Come to think about it. Let's go back to this strategy. Um, and we can get some extra blocks as we fly around. But yeah, you guys, you guys heard it here. I was about to say you heard it here first, but you didn't hear it here first. You heard it here like fifth. I need to get like one of these stacks like trapped in a corner and then it's open season. Oh, I know where to run now, boy. Haha. -ha. Damn it, these guys fast are. Alright, screw it, you can go away. I'm gonna drown! Okay, we good. Speedy died just like Speedy died two days ago on House of Minecraft for it. Oof. Oof. But, yeah. I mean, that was indeed... That was the whole, the whole tale. Yo, these guys are actually mad tough. We should fight them one at a time. This, uh, this temple got hella holes in it. Alright. Oh, it's because I'm killing multiple at once, I see. Killing multiple at once. That's why they seem tough. Oh, 50 stack. Yo, wait, I got a plan. Haha. -ha. You get away. Am I drowning? I'm drowning. Did he get out? He got out, didn't he? Um, do I have like a half slab I can use to trap him or something? Well, let's try and get this guy back in the corner. Go back in here. You know what? Here's the plan. I trap him somewhere where I've got oxygen. Ow. I can get him, like, trapped in here somehow. That would be huge. This dude actually popping off here. Alright. Can we get him to go... In, in there. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, wait, actually. If he stays down there, there's a door there as well. You know what? I don't even need that many crystals. I'm just going in for the, the chops. Um, hit with a trident, then use the sword to finish it. To be fair... Low-key strategy. Alright, here we go. What? They're so... They just run away. I mean, to be fair, actually, I've got loads of crystals. I'm good here. Alright, we can we can roll out. Aha, you can never kill me through the door. Alright, boom. Time to head back home and get this floor fitted. You also got the sea lanterns from here. Yeah. Oh, wait, that is not home. No! Not like this. Alright, back to spawn we go. Skeleton horses can breathe underwater. Can you ride them underwater? Could you imagine? Could you even imagine such a thing? Right, let's take these boots off. Now this is how we get home. <laughs> Lol. This is actually sick. <laughs> Probably not the fastest way to get home, but... It's a fun one. It's a fun one indeed. All right. Woo! And there, I get a graceful landing then. Couldn't get one in the base jumping competition. I also need to get that picked up and put in an item frame for me. But let me see. I, what is the recipe? Five prismarine crystals and four shards. Five. 
I assume the layout's a little more intricate than that. Is it like that? Nope. It's... Damn it, what do I do there? Aha, another five sea lanterns. And to be fair, we don't need an absurd amount for this. <gasps> I should have got more dark prismarine, actually. I just forgot to get that. Don't even know why I'm taking fallen damage. Just taken. Okay, I can't even get acro levels. But let us expand this out. I mean, literally, the design is going to be something like we've got a. We actually need a lot more of these. I might have to go and farm. I might farm some of these off camera just because it's quite tedious to do. Put like another one there. We want like a nice, very, very random pattern. Or we have the next one like there. There's going to be no order to this. And actually, you know, just think about it. Do I even need more blocks? No, I've probably got enough of these. I just need more sea lanterns. But this is going to look very nice. Eventually. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to have quartz stairs the whole way around there. Oh, <laughs> why have I made this? Well, I didn't make this space so big. This space just became like this. Oh, you know what? We have the treasure map to do. Which is probably not even something that's worth doing. But I'm just going to go and do it just because I'm annoyed. And I want to know where the buried treasure is out on the other side of that village. So we're going to go do that right now. Uh, we got some super chats in the chat. Uh, am I going to sit at home here? No, I'm... Uh... Alright, let's go and get some Dark Prismarine, actually, before we do anything else. I know this is slightly scarfed. Alright, where is the Dark Prismarine? We need, how much of it do I need? I need, like, four for every design. I might have to actually craft some if we can't. You know, those, those, I should really have mined those pillars all down below. Dark Prismarine looking quite rare, actually. How do you make Dark Prismarine? Things that I should know that I don't know. Oh, wait. I actually think there might be some on the outside at the entrance way. Nope, this is the entrance. Aha. I see some. Alright. It's got to be better to grab all this stuff then. If you just break their line of sight, they can't keep attacking. Here we go. Some more. The key key ingredient. We're gonna need a decent bit of this. We'll need I probably will have three like roof ornaments. If you saw the end of last episode, you'll see how those are gonna be laid out. So I need four for each. Actually, I probably only need like twelve. Dark. And I've got eight. I wish I knew like the layouts of these better so I knew where I could find some. Like I I'm pretty sure it surrounds the uh Oh no, this is where the core was, wasn't it? There's nothing here. Oh, we're drowning. You drown really slowly with respiration. It's pretty ideal. Do, do, do. Bailey House with the five pounds says, I heard I missed the duck story. Can you tell it again? I can't tell the same story back to back. Just track back on the stream. Is that a fish? Some cod. Ah. Just track back on the stream for anyone that missed the duck story. Um, I don't think there's any more dark prismarine in here. I think we're going to have to craft some of this. From here on out. Like, I really do not see any more. This poor sea temple. You know, actually, while we're out here, let's go and check out that mesa, actually. Let's take these boots off. Look how sick this looks. We love this. Yes. Ah, oh, easy terracotta. Beautiful. Let's start all the fish. Put our boots back on. Let's uh, let's get some terracotta. Let's use. Wait, can we use super breaker? Wait, is this? Yeah, this is the pickaxe we want to use. Look at this. Great stuff. Thank you, Golmo Six, with the twenty dollars. He said, "Build a grave for Speedy and place a chicken by it and name him Chocolate." <laughs> How would that work? <laughs> I get Oh no. Oh no. It's uh, low key kind of morbid. Oh wait, is that white um, terracotta? It is. Who remembers when hardened clay was a thing? Yeah, this is this is all quite good stuff to get. 
This allows us to do a lot more. Because the white terracotta, we can just dye any colour. Well, I guess, actually, we can dye. It's actually, no, it's actually the... Wait, is it... Do you... What happens when you cook clay? You get... Actually, you just get a hardened terracotta. Yeah, never mind. Um, could set up a little cactus farm. I'll grab some cactus while I'm here. Cactus farms are a way of making money. You know, I've got an idea. What if I actually... Let me just check this with you guys. Guys, if I use my buried treasure map out here, there's a good chance it will lead to a treasure that's not already discovered. Right? There's a very good chance. I mean, I should probably go inland a little bit. There's very... Because I doubt anyone's, like, done any digging for treasure out here. And it guides you to the closest one. Is that a good idea? Rather than going back to, like, that village spot? What do you guys think? Let me know. Thank you, Boss Hoosh, with the five pounds. He said, would you believe my name is Boss? I mean, that's an awesome name. If it is your name. Congrats, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to grab all this terracotta. If I should work out what terracotta I want to build out. You know, I actually want to build out of light blue. So, yeah, we should just grab white and then we can re-dye it. I mean, can you re-dye any terracotta to any color? I have no idea. I have no idea. Thank you, James Brannigan, with the uh, five pounds. He said, name a chicken, Speedy. You know, I do need to do that, actually. In honor. When are they going to add ducks to Minecraft? That's the real question. We, I mean, we have Donnie the duck. <laughs> At least we're getting mining levels out of this. Thank you, Tom Damon, with the $10. He said, hey, Vic, been watching your vids since the Hunger Games series. I've stayed awake all night to catch a stream. Keep making sick vids. Would love from Victoria, Australia. Yeah, boy. All right, you guys have said, let's do the map. Okay, the map is already done, apparently. So we need to go southwest. Southwest. So that's southwest. We need to go this way. I get the feeling this is already going to have been revealed, redeemed. Take the boots off. Oh, no. Move, fish. Get out the way. Is that... Wait, no, that's east. No, it's east we need to go. My brain cells. Oh, it's over here, actually. Classic. Another adventure of Vic and his brain cells. Vic and his damn brain cells. Alright, we're shooting over this, if we can. Charge it up to maximum. That did not go well. I wonder if you could use a water bucket to, like... Wait, hold up. Let's just test a theory. Okay, so you go. <laughs> it has some, some promise. So we need to go this way. I feel like this is going to take me to one that I've already got. You know, let's, let's, let's try this strategy again. Oh, wait, I should heal up before I yeet myself to an early grave. Okay, it's way out here somewhere. So yeah, you just go like this. Oh. Apparently I'm doing the same map Donnie did a few days ago. Yeah, I would believe it. Let's see. I mean, we're on another drowned hunt right now. Work towards getting that to conduit. It's a 3% chance for them to spawn with a Nautilus shell, so I'm pretty glad I got another one. I love how many islands there are around here. I probably would have been better looking for this from actually the spawn. Oh yeah, Donnie's an owl skin, not a duck. No, he's Donnie the duck. He'll never not be Donnie the duck. Okay. I mean, what we can do is, even though this treasure is already found, we can fill out this map and stick it on the wall and it'll look cool. Oh yeah, this yeah this will def this is on Donnie's island. It's definitely done. Yeah. Without a doubt, it's got to be done. <laughs> Why has he done this? Yeah, this is gone. 
Well, you know what we can do? We can complete the map. And then we can put it up on the wall. And it looks quite cool, actually. Here we go. Map completed. I mean, or I could give Donnie a map of his island. If we ever wanted to. Oh. Alright, we are all set in place right now. Let me swing on to spawn. And we can go and reset our spawn at home. Also, how to make Dark Prismarine. How do you make Dark Prismarine? An ink sack and eight Prismarine shards. Do I have spare Prismarine shards? Not many. I can make two more Dark Prismarine. Which is not awful, but it's not great. Okay, back home we go. And then the other things I need to do. I mean, my current like tasks at hand are pretty, pretty monotonous. I need to get... A load of uh, prismarine blocks. I need to get a load of... I need a load of this guy. I need to get a load of... Something else that I've forgotten. Uh, a load of quartz. So that's slightly annoying. Oh, you know what? Let's actually go name that chicken right now. Okay, so this map... I mean... we can put it up eventually. Are these completed yet? No. They're way out the other way. This is the same map. Oh, wait, this is... I even like that map. Uh, no. Bye, map. We have never got any loot out of you. Okay, let me secure some food, store the emerald. Let's just store all this stuff in one of these barrels for now. We need new blocks before we do any building. Farming shall come soon. Ooh, we should go and breed some more turtles. While we are chilling. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, boy. Alright, do you know what else we need to do? Ooh, you know what? This looks quite cool from the outside. I actually dig the look. I wonder if it would look better if we cleared that out the whole way around. We might actually need to. Even though it will be obnoxiously long to do. Alright, let me get all the seagrass. Oh, we got crazy drops of that stuff. Alright. The population demands more turtles. Don't know if there's anywhere even left for them to lay eggs. I guess there must be. Alright. Do we have more scoops? We do not. Sad times in the camp. Sad times indeed. Alright, let's go and... Let's go and nosy on some other people. Because I, I feel like just going and mining more quartz. We've already done like a lot of collection today. Like I said, I will get that mined up and play somewhere useful. We'll put that in like a little showcase. Got the second Nautilus shell. These things stack, right? Yeah, we got two. And we've got the uh, Heart of the Sea. So we need another six of those to make a conduit. Which will be beautiful. So that stuff there. We have a pumpkin, whatever that's useful for. Let's go and check in with some of the other inhabitants of the server. See what they are up to today. Let's go and have a little nosy around. Pull this up. Actually, we need to see if I can sell these uh, skeleton horses to Mini Lad. Um, Alright. Message. Mini Lad. Wrong Mini. Let's see if we can sell the, <laughs> these horses. <laughs> see what kind of a deal we can get. Here's, here's the, the advertising. Good morning, gamer. Hello, hello. Um, I have a proposition as an esteemed man of horses. Mm, would okay, you, continue. You have my interest. Would you like to purchase two skeleton horses? Ooh, two skeleton horses. Now, uh, let's talk business, shall we? What are you selling them for? Uh, give me a rate. Give me a price. Give me interest I mean, you, you're, you're the horse guy. You, you like, you're the horse guy. Like, I don't know, mm -hmm. like, like 3K sure. each. I guess they're quite rare. 3K each? I'm very happy with 3K each. Really? Yes, I am. Um, if you're willing to give me for 3K each, I'll take over your hands for 3K each. 
I just want to make sure that they're not super jumping horses first, you know. I gotta make sure I'm not giving away premium, premium horses. Okay, as a side note, is that actually like a thing? Because I was confused why you said, can this horse jump? I'm like, I don't know why he's, I don't know why he's asking this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, you gotta get a horse with mad hops if you want to be the, the, the biggest legend. When you go into war on your horse, you want your horse to be able to jump. So yeah, Mr. jump over the opposition. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah, literally. Um, what was I gonna say? So basically, every horse has like a speed value between like eight and like like it like can they can one horse can be twice as fast as another horse. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, Actually, man, I do. I do. I know everything about horses, but continue. <laughs> and uh, yeah, horses can like jump from like up to from one block up to like. Oh, see, this guy jumps. How many blocks is this? That's one, two, three. I think this this guy Dude. jumps four blocks. What about three K? But they come with saddles. <laughs> um, I, I only I don't actually have saddles. I don't know where all mine went because I definitely had a lot. So yeah, this guy's quite cool. Oh, he that's... can do. He can jump three blocks. That's quite. Yeah. The vertical leap. Vertical leap on this boy. Wait, let's mm -hmm. see if we can do three and a half. You should have him in your London 2012 videos. <laughs> Wait, let's test. This is the next test. Wait, can he make it? I used to love London 2012 until my hand started bleeding doing the 1500 meter race from just swiveling that goddamn joystick. Yeah, no, it's a painful game. They released Tokyo 2020 and IMO is worse, which is very sad. <laughs> oh, really? Very, very sad. It's oh, like cartoon. No. It's like Sonic at the <laughs> Olympics kind of vibe. Oh, um, uh, no. Yeah, I'll sell them without without saddles for, for 3k each. That's what I said, right? What about with saddles? I, I don't have saddles. I don't know where my saddles went. Oh, um, okay. I wonder, I actually, mean, wait, hold up. Actually, maybe I can throw in saddles to the deal. Hold up. I, I have, like, three saddles. Um, so, I mean, I if need may. be, I can, if you don't have any. Let me run some statistics for you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yeah, I can, I can sell with saddles. Like, I just need to, if you, if you come with me, I'll show what you. What if, what if? Yeah, I'll buy them for three five each with saddles. Yeah, yeah, come with come with me. I will show you. I'll show you the intricate inner workings. <laughs> of the, uh, you want to you want to talk about the, the bedrock by your front door? <laughs> that was Speedy's revenge for me killing him. Which you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm get bedrock. <laughs> <laughs> he, that that was his one request. And you know what? I was like, you know what? I deserve it. So I'm just you know I'm persevering with it. Understandable. Okay, so do I have a? I think I have a leather worker here. Yeah. Mr. Leather Worker, if I uh, trade him a bunch of leather, I'll be able to hook you up some saddles. So I could become, you know, the new reliable source. Mmm, very a, true. Saddle man. Saddle, 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 they call yeah. me, I'm the saddle man. Understandable, I like that. Vic I like saddle that. man. Vic saddle one, two, three. You know. Vic saddle one, two, three. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I'm just trying to level this guy up. Are you good? Well, here, how about, if you're able to do it with saddles, um, I'll just pop. You want to get rid of both? Hold up. Hold the phone. Is he going to level up from that? I should really have just been patient and leveled this guy up. But I'm, I'm going to sweeten the deal for you here. All right, this place is, he is up? wild. It's the way out here. Is that C? Ah, madness. Ah, I need to. Okay, I need to level this guy up even more. Okay, I, I can I can I deliver the saddles like tomorrow? I need to get my saddle guy to. You know, yeah. in in the meantime, I will provide you with uh, you know those. those. I, I have literally no use for this. <laughs> Give them to your friends. <laughs> Give them to your Give significant to you. other. <laughs> Okay, I didn't even know you could die die this stuff. Uh, all right, but I'm not gonna yeah. take my friend. I have to go back to my place and get saddles though. Yeah, yeah, you can have them both. So seven k and saddles will be delivered Easy. like tomorrow, the day after. Easy clap. Pleasure doing Love business to hear with it. you. Thank you. Love it. All right, I'll catch you about. All right. <laughs> See Pleasure doing business. Thank you, sir. Tips fedora. Have a good day. Oh, hey, that's easy cash. I I don't want skeleton horses. You can't put armor on them. I don't know why this man's is peddling, peddling uh, these damn things. Okay, let's go and buy a name tag from uh, from Master Splinter. We actually need to name Master Splinter Master Splinter as well. These are all things that must be done. Why does this not fire sometimes? <gasps> Master Splinter, no!
It's not lit up in here, is it? Let's see. Block. Oh, my goodness. It was not lit up in the actual new cave I built. Oh, no. We have lost Master Splinter. He was a good man. We have a cat instead. All right. That means I need to max out my uh, librarian down on the ground level. This is a very, very sad time. People are saying I need to sell, I should have sold. <laughs> sell on the leather horse, horse armor too. No, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm happy with 7k. I think that's a fair price. The horses, I, I, I can, they can swim underwater, but. Is that really like I have a trident? I can swim underwater super fast. Whoa, people are not happy with that trade. I'm happy with it. Apologies if you are not. I mean it's like it's like if I sold them an, an extra like like four or five K each, it's like one inventory of scoots. That's looking so nice. Once that's filled out, it's gonna look so good. Oh no. Can we get asleep? No, we're probably not gonna be able to get asleep. Okay, in the meantime, wait, actually, can I push the, this guy, oh, yeah, okay, um, actually, I need to level this guy up, maybe I should actually just get a new library, you know, I should just add more beds in here, and get more villagers, alright, for now, we're gonna get more villagers, we can just get a new librarian, and get him up to master, as long as he accepts paper trades, so we're chilling. All right. Um, can you ask the admins about speedy and size treasure chest? Okay. Hello, hello. 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 Resident hello. Ladmins. I'm. I was told to come and ask you guys about a certain treasure chest belonging to speedy and sidearms. Yeah. Oh yeah, they hid a treasure chest on their island somewhere. Oh, okay. That's 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 it. Yeah, I I don't know where it is. They hit it off stream, or well, they covered their streams, so I have no idea where it is. And like, what? Like anyone who finds it gets to keep it. They said it's free for the taking. I don't want to just take a shovel to their island and just shred it up. <laughs> the the rule is you'll be able to see the chest. Oh, without, without breaking blocks. Breaking ah. You, once you once you find it, you can break it. Oh, okay. So it's like a it's down. like a find the button, but it's find the treasure chest kind of thing. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm gonna start looking for this then. Where could it Good be? Luck. Thanking you. All right. All of a sudden, we're on a treasure chest. What do we think? Like, I feel like maybe like under one of these staircases or something. Okay, we should do this, like, systematically. Imagine it was there. That would have made life easy. This is the... Aha! Found it. No. Hmm, there's a treasure chest that you can see from somewhere else on the island. Hmm. Okay. Check under the farm. Look in the leaves. Leaves would be a bit obvious, I feel like. Minnie's just going to collect his horses. Um. Okay, let's have a look under the farm. Below the leaves. How could it be? I mean, that's the main under the farm that we got going. I don't see anything there. Could it be? A, could it be on the book island? Underneath the island. Oh, good shout, good shout, guys. That would be a smart place to hide it, like there. No. We can check under here real quick. It's not looking like there's anything here.
Hmm. Okay. I think it could be on Bookstore Island. Let's have a look. Thank you, Acrobatics, for not letting me take damage. Um. Hmm. I love these. Love the decoration going on over here. It is quite the spectacle to behold. Is this it? No, it couldn't be. Being told under the potatoes. The potatoes on the inside or the outside? Under the bridge. It's a good shout. I mean, I doubt it would be inside because they said it's like on the island. We may have to give up on this short. <laughs> Mini lad just on his way to <laughs> snag some horses. Um. Oh, apparently Kenny already found it. Uh, I'm all good on the villager front. Okay, it's not under that bridge. We tried it under the iron. Not under the bridge. I don't know where that potato farm actually is, though. Is that inside? Ow. This is our villager containment. I need to... Oh, wait, actually. It's got to be the way to do it. We got a lot of suggestions coming in. Where are their potatoes? Oh, like over on the edge of the island here. Oh, baby zombie. Oh, he's run away. I mean, it's <laughs> okay, so Kenny's found it. I just cannot. Oops. I broke the potatoes. Die, little man. Oh, that would actually be really good if it was under trap doors. I mean, it couldn't be under... Actually, it couldn't be under any of these because you'd see it. I feel like an idiot. I can't complete this treasure chest. Treasure hunt. The treasure's already gone, so I don't even know what I'm doing. Mmm. I don't like this. Don't like this one bit. Are they on right now? No, they're not online right now, so I can't even ask for hints. I mean, I, the treasure's already been found. But I'm mad about it now. All right, I'm going to go and ask Kenny. With villagers. <sighs> but thank you, though. I mean, I, thanks for looking out for me. I guess I'll just take all of them, you know. I'm trying yeah, to sell these well, villagers. Dude. Might as well. <laughs> so, I have so many, but I just figured I would ask around and see if people wanted uh, in on it. But, you know, I'll take them all. Wait, so I'll did you find all. a new village then? Uh, I found a sand village with nothing in the in the chest. Oh, you're over there. Oh, okay, gotcha. So... Kenny. Gotcha, no, that's so nice. Thank you, man. I appreciate sure. it. Kenny, I have a question. What's up, brother? Look, you got the treasure chest. Where the heck is it? I cannot find it for the life of me. <laughs> and I know you already took what was in it, but I just need to know where it is now, on <laughs> principle. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> Bro, I can't tell you. It would defeat the purpose of being a treasure chest. Give me a hint. <laughs> I'm trolling. I, I, I actually was watching Jericho's stream, and I saw him looking for it, so I came in and trolled. I haven't, I haven't even looked for it. <laughs> Oh, so no one's Sorry. found it? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Ah. I feel bad too, because I think, like, 
because they said I was trolling, so I figured they knew I was trolling, but they kind of gave up looking after that, so I kind of feel bad. I was like, ooh, my oh, bad. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I mean, you can still get all the treasure if you find it, dude. I'm feeling a hella dumb right now, but I'm glad <laughs> no one else has found it. <laughs> no, it's probably not even there. It's probably just a troll. Imagine. <gasps> or is it? <laughs> <gasps> or is it? I actually what? found it. No cap. I found it. No cap. I'm a genius. <laughs> you already What's found it, it, didn't you? Did you already find it or not? I can't Me? Talk. No. <laughs> no cap. I actually just found it. I'm goated. <laughs> AGG man. Holy what? It? It's got like 300 iron. 18. What? Is this it? <laughs> Is, I, there's a chest under a tree that you can see because the the grass next to the thing. Holy loot! What? I just take this. What? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Go for it. Sell that. I feel like a thief. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably tell Jericho them you found. It. I don't know if they're planning on looking. I'm looking for it again. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um. You can put like a you can put like a just, sign or a troll in there. It says LOL yeah, or something. Just yeah, just put LOL. A, a paper. Oh. I'm I'm literally blown away by it. like how, where did they get all this stuff? Uh, mining, dude. They're Bro, rich. these guys big miners, big big mining mission. Let me get all the goodies out of here real quick. Hold tight. <laughs> I like how you come here. Like, where is it? I can't find it. <laughs> I really yeah, couldn't find it. it. <laughs> I'm the good luck charm, brother. Holy, like, I was, like, expecting that to be, like, oh, it's, like, one diamond. Oh, I forgot to reset my spawn. I was, like, <laughs> I was, like, expecting it to be, like, yeah, literally, like, one, like, uh, like, a few diamonds or something. That is a treasure chest and a half. Oi. I can't believe this. Oh, what are these cords? Oh, they, so apparently they took G18 mining with them, and then everything that he got, they just put in a treasure chest. Dang, he seems like you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, my, the heck? my boy's going in the mines. Man hit level 100 in mining in one day. Who, J18? Really? <laughs> yeah. Is he well, playing or did he just join for the lols? Uh, he was just having fun. <laughs> boy was just playing block game. <laughs> just a man playing block game. Yeah. I can't believe I found that. I was like feeling so dumb. I was like, hey, they, everyone's well, it's like, it's here, like, it's here. I can't find it. I can't find I it. I felt oh, real I dumb it. as well because I thought like it had already been found. Yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, that maybe, the troll you know, like, worked. I thought maybe on stream they did it. Like they put everything in it and then off stream they just took it away to make people think that it actually That would be exists. unreal <laughs> as far as trolls go. <laughs> Yo, your boy's about to get mining levels <laughs> all right <laughs> not mine oh levels, is it was that ore block yeah it's, yeah smelting oh. levels for days well that makes sense bruh <laughs> all that for nine fermented spider eyes <laughs> yeah if anyone's got spare mushrooms like i want to get the quest going yeah i have three <laughs> oh wow speedy with a hundred racks in the bag Yo, wait, how is Pete not bow top? What did he do? Uh, I think he was buying stuff for his house and for the casino and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. I, if he bought, uh, bought, what do you call it? Concrete, that's a feels bad. No, I think he was buying like prismarine and stuff like that. I just went and mined a ton. Like it's really not that hard to really? mine. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, I thought about it. Um, um, I should really make a sign to put here. Put that back in. Oh. Uh. Um. <laughs> Just taking away some of the tree <laughs> to make my sign. Saying. <laughs> I 
I put a sign saying Captain Vic has discovered the loot. <laughs> I love that. I actually <laughs> love that. I, I was going to go mining and I've just done a mining trip by finding a chest. <laughs> that's unreal. Yeah, that's kind of convenient. Okay, Vic. Yeah? <laughs> we we need to do something. What? I, I, I'm too nice of a person to do this. And <laughs> one, I don't even know if I could. Um, we, we do. Let's have a duel, Vic. A fair, even duel. How many levels do you have? Twenty-four. But who cares about levels? Ah, twenty-four levels. Days. Okay. I don't, you want to have a duel? Yeah. I got. <laughs> I got a super chat to kill you, and I can't because I feel so bad. <laughs> I'll have and, a duel. <laughs> and I was like, let's let's try to make it fair. Okay. I'll have a duel, but if you fail, you'll still have to come for me. Yes. Yes. What yes. Are we saying? What's allowed? What's not allowed? Um. You pick, you pick. What, what do you, what do you want to use? Yeah. Want to use like basic iron, a shield, just a straight 1.14? Or do we use our like main sets? I don't know. Like I feel like, I feel like we should use. I've never really used my max set for like proper battle. I mean, we can, but I don't really have a max set. You don't? No. I can't believe this war the other day. I just assumed you had a max set. Bro, I I couldn't do anything. I had the curse of binding helmet on, so I couldn't oh even make a helmet. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go into this. I'm just going to fight for fun, die, and lose the helmet. Uh, and then keep inventories on, so the helmet stayed on my body anyways. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, why did that's I come? so scuffed. Yeah, but it's okay. Coder ended up removing it and putting a trap door on my head instead. Nah, nice. you still got that? Nah, I, I took it off. Um, yeah, I mean, we can fight with, like, I can bring the gear I have. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's just probably going to break quick. I mean, actually, low key, you can't assassinate me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to assassinate me? Okay, come at me, bro. <laughs> no, I, what? No, I didn't want to assassinate. I wanted to have a fair fight. <laughs> but what if I don't want to have a fair fight? What if I want to have an unfair fight? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would. I think it's more entertaining if you just try and come and kill me one of these days. Okay, one of these days. Yeah, but yeah. I can't do it with this set. <laughs> nah, so <you're laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Keep grinding that set because I've done like I've done like two like uh, like same gear duels against like. Um, Jen and against, was it Jen? No, against Donnie and against Kara. So I'm like, I don't really want to do like another, just, you know, just vanilla kind of deal thing. Gotcha. Okay. Come out right. here when it's uh, most I unexpected. To, I, will, I will surprise you. <laughs> Jen, if you want to rent my gear for a price, you know. I oh, can... you got some good gear? I got some good gear. I'll tell you what. I, I got some good gear for the right price. <laughs> oh, Phantom, you want to, uh... <clears throat> you wanna have a little chat real fast? Yeah, you wanna <clears throat> I'm at my house. Uh oh. Hmm. I mean I'll watch you guys do for sure. My whole chat is just right. Hold up, what what does under the chest mean? Under the chest doesn't mean anything. Like, what's under the chest? Loot is under the chest. No, no, no. There's nothing under the chest. You're tripping for no reason. There is nothing under the chest. If anything, is there a fake chest? No, it's just, it's just there's nothing there. You know, I'm even gonna patch it up. You're going crazy for no reason. For a moment. Alright. Ah, oh, I have no idea. Alright. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you guys doing a deal? Uh, no. No. Oh. No, we're just uh, we're just we're just borrowing gear from each other real fast. 
All cap. No real reason. <laughs> no real reason, hey. <laughs> oh, Phantom, you got a brewing stand, I see. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Oi. Is that how we're living out here? You want you want all the protection for and the sharpness five, five flame aspect, all that? Uh, yeah, you got a good bow. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, okay. <laughs> flame, infinity, power Is five. it going to be like that, is it, Kenny? It going to be like that, huh? Oof. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I ha here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. I have all these potions in this chest too already. If you want to use these. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Whoa! Wait, didn't I? I left <laughs> those are the potions I left you, <laughs> Josh. It better not be. You want these golden apples too? I've got like ten. <laughs> I made those for the war effort yesterday. Yeah, I'll be right back. Let me let me go turn this stuff in real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Josh, how could you do this to me? I can't believe you've done this. Hey, business is business, you know? You can't take sides. Nah, I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like that sometime. It do, it do be like that. Uh, um, Alright. What does it A mean? young Minecrafter gotta make it out here. I'm just, uh, just, you know, I had a nice little peaceful episode. Did a bit of mine. Did a bit of collecting blocks. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do mining. Hold on a second. <laughs> did a bit of collecting blocks. Got some mining loot. You found some mining. Now all of a sudden, someone wants to clap me. It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy how life flip it up on you sometimes, you know? <laughs> hey, contracts are contracts, man. Oof. Oofers. You can't deny the super chat. Nah, true, bad, true, right? true. No, that's why. That's why, uh, Speedy took a took a took an F. <laughs> F to pay respects, that would be. <laughs> Nothing else. I'm gonna I can't fit this villager down here. Oh Thanks. my god. Well, Kenny's gonna come and try and kill me. Now, the issue is that I don't have uh, any blaze rods to brew any more potions. I really should have saved my potions I made the other day, especially the strength potions. Now, what we could do right now is we could take a diversion into the never and see if we can find a blaze real quick and kill it to get some more potions. I guess that's the best way to ward off this assassination attempt. Um, alright, let's see if we can find a blaze. Oh, this is a new spawn point. We were really lucky to find that blaze and get two blaze rods the other day. I don't think that, yeah, the world hasn't expanded enough, really. Okay, a blaze rod is what I need. You can't buy them from the shop anymore. You used to be able to buy them from the sh uh, spawn, but they're no longer purchasable. Because they are a very powerful thing. So, yeah, it is a slightly unfortunate, unfortunate for me. Yeah, we can't buy them right now. You know, one thing I should work on is I should start working on a sharpness five axe, for sure, for sure. Should have re should have renamed my pick pick star one two three. Not a bad shout, you know, not a bad shout. All right, any blaze in the business? None that we see. Beep, beep, beep. Is this just a regen one? Actually, you know what? Do I have... I don't think I have enough fuel to even make it regen two. Which is slightly annoying. But it gives me one minute 30 of regen one, which is quite nice. But yeah, I don't know what potions Josh has given Kenny. But I know a hit is a hit. Oh, mushrooms, actually. I should probably start growing some of my own mushrooms. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that. Um, go for the wither skeletons. I mean, does that help me particularly? Also, interestingly enough, um... This isn't like a normal nether. So like there's the nether temple, uh, the nether fortress. 
but it doesn't actually line up with like the blaze spawning areas and all that stuff. So a blaze could spawn anywhere because it's stronghold. It's like basically it was a really bad nether seed, so they put a custom nether seed in for us. And that how it be. So I was hoping I'd just be able to look around and find a blaze. I mean, I'm happy to just you know take the fight. Just. This is not looking, not looking fantastic. For a man, I can't believe how rare that one blaze that I did find was. <laughs> I used all my potions to assassinate Speedy. If I just had one of those supersets left, I would be living so good. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. What do we reckon, guys? What do we reckon? Spot where I found the blaze before was what, just over here somewhere? Now one thing I do have on my side is a lot of acro and uh, one of the PvP modifiers. The plus 10% dodge. But yeah, it's not looking like there's blazes is here. Hmm. Okay, I'm giving this another minute and then I'm accepting that we will have no more potions. You know what? It's a good concept there. Hold up. Alright, we're going home. We have not been able to find any blaze. Kill that witch. That witch will have despawned by now. That witch will be long gone. Um, I'll keep the trident, I guess, in case I need it. Um, mm, 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 mm. store this one mushroom away. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this. I have an idea. The what if I? Uh, I'm not even gonna say what I'm gonna do here. Brains off shirt. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't even know right now. I don't even know right now. Make sure we got a full thing of blocks. Water bucket, pickaxe if I need it. Put away the spare sword. All right. Does anyone know where does Kenny live? That is what I'm trying to work out. All right, let's go. Let's go and have a little little nosy around. Hello, fellow adventurers. What is up, brother? Not much. I was wondering if you knew where Kenny lived. Uh, if you leave spawn and okay. go to the right, you okay. find Kenny's house. And just what, like, like a straight shoreline? Just follow the shoreline, and what does it look like? Uh, lots of glass. Okay. Thank you, Boomer. Enjoy the rest yeah. of your day. Uh, I hope you're not you're not like murder fine Kenny. Right? <laughs> I'm glad to know, that, to know what you're talking just, about. Did I just, did I just answer like the question? That you're I now an accessory. <laughs> oh God! Dude, what did I? What have I done? All right. Don't don't murder him, and if you do murder him, I didn't tell you where you were. And <laughs> I, I didn't think about it honestly. All right. Well, thank you for the intel. It's yeah, very much yes, appreciated. Yes, sir. Good luck not murdering Kenny. <laughs> yes, exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, let's move, 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 move. <clears throat> let's get moving. <laughs> hmm. 
Ah. <laughs> All is fair in love and war. <laughs> Hello. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna assassinate me, right? <laughs> Nay, that's why I challenged a duel. No assassination nation. No assassination nation. <laughs> you just, Not it... like this. Not like this. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Your boy no assassination nation. Nice so you just, you just happened to hire some gear off uh, the young Phantom Ace, eh? Wait, 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 hold on. If I show you my gear, will you spare my life? <laughs> Let me show you my gear. Let me show you. I'll, I'll show it to you. Take my gear. Look at it. So what That's was, all I have. What were your dealings with Phantom Ace then? I, I, it was a troll. I was getting spider eyes. I wasn't even trading him. It was a troll. <laughs> said, spare me. Spare me. I give you mushrooms. Take mushrooms. <laughs> spare my life. You had me convinced that he'd given you his max. I know he had... <laughs> Come on, Look why didn't you bow. get- Look at my bow! Look at my bow! Why didn't you get the life. max set like off this. him? I thought- <laughs> Dude, Vic just comes charging at me, bro! Not like this, man! There in my life, all I have is measly chicken! Oh, measly my chicken bone! chicken bow! Oh, God! I give you mushrooms, please! Please! <laughs> <laughs> not uh, today, not today. Okay. Zeke rolls in, best defense is good offense, just comes over. <laughs> that was my thinking. <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> I am simple player, please no. Taking the mushrooms is Dax. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> just, just, just that, oh alright. Well, just levels. remember, the next time you're considering coming for your boy, <laughs> he might just show up at your place, you know? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep Goodbye, an eye on you. Friend. Thanks I'm for gonna, sparing my life. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, boy. <laughs> Chat, we. Oh, Gollum, what are you doing to me? Holy frick. Yeah, that's you about, guys. <sighs> Alright, bye, big. Damn it, I thought I was being so smart. I was hoping he would be geared up and we would have a little scrap then, and I catch him totally off guard. Alright, well, that gives me more time. It looks like, uh, I. Yeah, I need to work out a way to get, um, blaze rods. Um. I think I might just do a little bit of scouting in the nether. To be fair, actually, I need more quartz right now. So to end off this episode, let's go and again, let's go and search for, uh, let's go and search for blaze rods and a bit of quartz. Um, hey, well, this means I can submit four things to the quest. One, two, three, four. Some sugar. Some more sugar. How can I not have enough sugar? You know what, actually, maybe I should also just start beasting up my levels and get that super axe. But I don't have axe levels, I have a lot of sword levels. It might be time, you know? It might be time to get a super axe. A super axe with knockback. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, so that's going to be the next plan. Things getting, you know, I'm going to keep my good stuff on me. Okay, you can't buy blaze rods in spawn. Farm mushrooms. Well, can you farm mushrooms? I don't think you actually can. You have to use bone meal in uh, like a swamp. Because they don't just, they don't grow into multiple. I don't think, unless I'm being entirely off here. Right, well we, okay, we need to get back on the XP grind before anything else. Let's just stow this stuff up here. Let's go and hand in my four fermented spider eyes for a reason I don't quite understand. Okay, right, let's head over to the do. Um, oh yeah, a looting sword just in case, yeah. So I need my looting sword. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna work on a little XP quest right now. Here we go, yeet. We love to put in some spider eyes. All right, let's work on the XP memorization. So, what do we want to do? We want to... 
take down some leather, some paper. We want to take down feathers. We can sell. Should we get some chicken? Yeah, we might as well get our loot and sort back out. Take down some chicken. <laughs> Alright. We got hella chicken in the house. Got some more of this in the house. Yeah, we were just doing peaceful building and things, base jumping tournaments. But the assassination threats are flying. And we do not take lightly to them. Stack mobs die really weirdly. Like, how do I kill four with damage that would kill one? Okay. Canny the local brewery. I see you. I see you. All right. How quickly can I get the goods put together? All right. We need XP here. All right. Time to start hustling the trades. So, start off with Mr. Fletcher. Let's get this all out. Do we actually... Oh, I forgot to bring the beds down. I was supposed to bring the beds down so we get even more of these guys. Um, Bill, I am. The plug. I mean, this is just pure XP gains right here. Look at the XP flying up. Now, that is something we love to see. Okay, that's maxed out now. Now we trade with Leatherman. Mr. Leatherman. Okay, he's maxed out. Cool. Um, did I trade in max feathers? Don't think I maxed on feathers. Store this. Um, we can't actually trade paper yet, but I actually could make some books. Start leveling up that guy. Which we'll do now. Leveling up Mr. Dot Stop Despawning. Oh, wait, he needs four. Oop. And I, oop. Fletcher, can you... Yeah, look at my levels flying up right now. Villagers. All sorts of powerful. Bruh. Okay, he's maxed out on feathers now. You know, I really should try and get a Fletcher that can do Arrows of Harmony. Okay. We need to up the war efforts here. People saying Kenny has nothing. No, he's chilling. We're chilling. No false rumors, guys. Please. Please, only accurate intelligence that we need for here. Um, okay. What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, bring the beds down. One, two of those. How are we out of wool? How could this happen? So, that's two more villagers. I think we go for another librarian. And then... I don't know what else we get. But yeah. We'll have more villagers next time we come down here. Okay. Master Fletcher is chilling. We could trade him some sticks, actually, if I have any. No, I don't. Um, we've got a lot of Emeraldas. I mean, it's the XP that we're getting out of this, mostly. Aha. Okay, he's maxed out again. Yep, that's maxed out. We can trade more books. Alright, let's get a stack of books. To level up that guy, just see what other books, what other trades he might have. Mr. Stop despawning himself. There you go. I have many books for you, my friend. So he's leveled up there. Does that re... Yeah, that does re... No, it doesn't reset it. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, okay, leveling up doesn't reset. Ooh, Silk Touch. That's pretty cool. Um, but we just need to keep trading him books, really. To be honest. I mean, I could buy some bookshelves and then just break them down. Because, look, six emeralds gets you nine books. Okay, you lose emeralds doing it, but it's XP. Like, it's not actually a bad trade. We just, I mean, this is just a means to get XP. Let's buy some more bookcases from him. Oh, respiration two and a clock. Again, not great. We got a hella bookcase. You can build a house out of bookcases. I might build like a big bookcase wall soon. All right, 
That is XP living good. We can trade the rest of this stuff in down the line. Um, we could also deal with a stone mason, actually. So we want a stone cutter down there. Uh, stone cutter. What do we need? We need three stone and an iron. Well, iron we're going to have no lack of. Also, actually, all the mining goods just got me a load. So we'll get... Oh, wait, a stone block, sorry. So I have here. If we make a mason, we could get some really good trades out of him. So let's hope we get that. I mean, look at this. XP, 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 and XP. Holy oars, Batman. Put that in there with that. Doesn't really matter how fast we smelt it. Um... Okay, because yeah, I can sell all this stone for more emeralds as well and more XP as a byproduct. Oh, do I have a stone cutter in there? No, I mean, I didn't want to bring my other stone cutter down. So now my next village will be a stone cutter. I can trade in stone for that. Then we'll probably make another librarian down there. Um, I think the next village that gets made will be a librarian. So now we can go and look at some enchantment upstairs. Buy respiration two for my helmet. Actually, uh, I have resp. Oh, okay, I can make get respiration three at a load of levels. Right now we are looking for maximum sharpness. Maximal sharpness. We got a sharpness two in the house. Um, I need, I need sharpness books. That's like the only way I'm gonna yeah the only thing I can get really so I just need to keep burning till I get good sharpness books that's all I can really do here because to get yeah sharpness on an axe sharpness one for two levels that's just not worth it I'd rather get half a level back up and then go for that I can just go and disenchant these all right let's go and look for some uh, some blaze rods briefly we we'll just do a little mission and we can continue this next episode I don't see myself at significant threat right now um i mean I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfy i'm feeling pretty comfy go and get a bit more xp and then we're going to wrap up for the day this has become another significantly long episode i don't know how this always happens we'll have a little little brief few minute look and then we'll be done all right so I'm trying to remember where the stronghold is. I think it's over there. Yeah. We found the blaze just in that area over there the other day. Breed villagers. The villagers just breed themselves. If they have extra beds. Oh, they need food, actually. No, you're right. I need to take carrots down. Forgot how to Minecraft. <laughs> Awkward to do on this series, hey? I just have a feeling we might... Oh, with a skellington. Skellington. That's a looting sword. Don't mind if I do. Imagine we get a wither skull out of this. Imagine the scenes we did. It would have been most wild. Aha. It's a good time of the year. Killing withers. Spawn the wither, get a strength beacon. A carnage would ensue. Come on, spawn me a blaze. I can't believe how lucky I was to get that blaze. You guys did clutch. And let me know that he was out and about. Hmm. Alright, no blaze. We're getting good uh, repair levels through the smelting there, which is nice. Okay, you know what? We're going to go home, breed the villagers. Next episode, we uh, continue the quest for the super axe. The super axe. So, yeah, we need to take some food down for these hungry boys. Should be enough carrots to get a whole gang. Apparently, Speedy inside have a sharp five book villager. Okay. I mean, that would make my life a whole lot easier. All right, you got 16 each. Can you bait? You can bait them to get up from sleeping so you can trade them. That's, that's lols. So, actually, yeah, you can trade at any hour because you just have to get them to wake up. I think they share food as well. Just trying to throw out as many different stacks as I can. 
they all get some. And we should end up with more villagers here next time we hop on. Alright, surely that's enough carrots for them. You should end up with more villagers. Alright, we're going to wrap it up there for the day. Um, a very eventful um, unfolding. We found that good, good treasure. We uh, got all our blocks. I can finish the floor as well in my own time. We will continue the quest for the, uh, the, the, the diamond axe of dreams. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I think I just want like a knockback 2, sharpness 5. Um, I guess that's all you can really get on the axe. I'm making three acts. Would be pretty wild. Alrighty, well, we're going to wrap up for the day. Um, Cosmic Sky will be for tomorrow, for those asking. Can we throw my super chats and things in a moment here? Uh, I may just stream. Actually, no, I probably won't stream again. One thing, guys, if you can do me a massive favor, if you can go over to my other channel, my VIX123 channel, and watch my Google Stadia video, that would be very much appreciated. Even if you don't want to watch it, if you just want to open up the video, mute it, and let it play out, I would appreciate that a lot. Uh, Google flew me out to Germany to check it out. If you want to check it out, feel free to do so. If you want to just help me out on that deal, help me get my bread and help me get some views on that, that would be very much appreciated um, for more 20,000 of you. I'll put a link to it in the description. I should have actually mentioned this a little earlier. But let me uh, let me throw let me throw a link to the video in the description. But yeah, it's on my Vixta123 channel. Uh, check out Stadia here. I mean, if you want to find out what Google Stadia is, go and watch the video. If you want to help me out, just go and watch the video with it muted. <laughs> help me help me get secure some more deals with Google for when Stadia actually comes out. I think it's actually pretty darn cool. I like, explained how the whole thing works at the start of that. That would be very much appreciated. And uh, now, in the uh, Super Chat department, thank you, Joe Russell 151 with a $10. He said, in a future episode, you should better organize your villager setup. Yeah, I mean, I'll, once I've got my like, decor done in my underground basement area, I'm going to set them up their own like uh, little, little village underground town thing. Thank you, Joe Russell 151 for becoming a new member. Thank you, Golmo6 with the $50 saying, duel him, Vic, duel him. I feel like a bit of PvP on the fly could be even more entertaining. So that's what's probably going to happen. Thank you, Chris Quarles with the $5. He said, I love the vids. Uh, you and Simon, my favorite YouTubers. I'm 14 and finally got money to show my appreciation. Thanks for the laughs. No worries. I'm glad we could give some laughs. Thank you, Thomas Fark, Fark with the 5 euros. He said, yes, the duck story is love. The duck story is life. Also, about the downloadable map I was asking for is, uh, for season four. Is there any way to get it? No, I don't think we even have access to the season four map. I don't think I ever got saved. We just kind of forgot. Apologies for that. Um, thank you, yeah, Boss Hoos, for the super chats earlier. Uh, do, do, do. The classic Vic do, do, do. Thank you, Chris Quals, with the $5. Um, same super chat from earlier. Thank you, Boss Hoosh, for becoming a new member. Thank you, Charles James Plays, with the £10. He said, hey, Vic, you the main guy. It's been fun watching you this far. It makes me happy when sad, and you're just a great guy. Thanks. No worries. Glad I could, glad I could cheer you up. Thank you, S Selena Calderhouse, for becoming a new member of the channel. Thank you, Caleb Clear with the $10. He goes, duck story time. You got the duck story time. For anyone that missed that, you can track back hell in the stream. And I tell the tale. Thank you, Eric Mischi with the uh, £8. Uh, sorry, £8? The, the new membership. Appreciate you very much. Thank you for joining the members club. Very strong. Nearly 200 strong in the members club. Thank you all for tuning in. Once again, I'll see you on the next episode of How to Minecraft. Um, probably done for the day, so go and watch my other video, as I said. Go watch the Google Stardew video. Um, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out my Cosmic Sky from yesterday. I will actually go and breed my turtles one more time, just keep the balance on the rise. Never any reason to not do that. Um, you've got me for an extra few seconds while I, while I feed the turtles. But honestly, why are you still here? The Google Stardia video. Help, help me secure the cheddar. Help Google think I am super famous, big deal. Even though it's just the Minecraft gang showing up. We do love to see that. We do, we do love the support. Okay. Well. Oh. You know, I also should get a uh, low fire for the shield kind of thing going on. Um. Okay. Let's go and get some more turtles. Oh, if you put mushrooms um, in a dark room, they spread. Did not know that. I might just, like, find a biome where I can just bone meal a bunch of them in. 
All right, let's get some more eggs in the house. Uh, let me hit Smitty with some coordinates. I got them to hand. Um, uh, actually, I didn't save the coordinates. In fact, I can't be bothered. I, I, I don't have the coordinates. I don't want to send him on like a wild geese chase to the wrong place. All right, that is it. We are done for the episode. Still 13,000 of you here. Go watch the Google Stadia video. Link in the description. Thank you all for tuning in. See you all next time. Peace out.